Anyway, for here, we can just let it free go. If I give it just a little bit of time warp and do that, it'll halt the rotations. Um, and yeah, everything should be hunky-dory. How's our life support situation? Oh, I need to configure visible buttons. Attack life support monitoring. Add that there. There you go. Yep. I don't know why the food went down. I guess they, they got, you know, some snacks. But you're supposed to feed them pretzels to make them drink water. So, yeah, we've got we've got about two months worth of food, water, and oxygen. We've got three and a half hours of electricity in any given time. But, of course, we've got the solar panels. So as long as we're getting sunlight, we have unlimited electricity. Assuming things are going halfway okay. Did that number go down? But, yeah, I don't think there's anything for us to do now other than uh, let it time warp. So we don't have to make an adjustment. We should be coming in fine. I'm going to go to halfway and verify that we're still happy with our Mooner encounter at that point. Focus view. Still looking okay. Uh, nope, it actually did change. It's now saying we're coming at 41,000 meters or 41 kilometers, which is okay. But... I think I would like it a little lower. So I don't know if they have to burn radial or anti-radial to make the adjustment, but we'll see. Please make a settlement on the moon. Mm. Couldn't you unearth your suicide burn program you coded for Kerbal? Oh, that's true. Um, so there's a Kerbal mod called KOS, which adds a Kerbal operating system. It adds a computer that you can add to your ships and you can program it in a custom language. And we did a stream once where I programmed a an automatic landing system in there and it worked out really, really well. All right, so if I go for this, there we go. We're bringing it down. There we go. There we go. About 25 kilometers is a pretty sweet spot. It's, it's relatively low, um, but that will save us uh, some trouble when we're trying to enter orbit and then deorbit and do all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be fine. So we can turn that off again. Do another quick save. And, well, actually, what I can do is, where are we? Over here. I can just run up to the Mooner Encounter. And if I go through it at a thousand, it'll actually drop us to about times 50 when we go through the uh, the thing. I'll probably drop it down to times 100 myself here. There we go. So as soon as we cross this point, the moon's gravity is going to be taking over as the most dominant force, as opposed to Kerbin back home. Oh, it's blinding! And give it a moment to adjust and kill all the speed. And there we go. We have now been snagged by the moon, but we will swing by and then escape if we don't do anything. So what we're going to have to do is at the periapsis, or as close as we can over here, we're going to have to burn retrograde to enter orbit. Now, a circuit as possible would be nice again. But the important thing is not to overkill it. We can do another burn afterwards to make some adjustments. So we're going to do something like that. 240-ish delta V to enter a nice, relatively circular orbit of the moon, which sounds fantastic. Um, we're going to get there in an hour and a half. That seems pretty solid. So we'll actually face the, the node properly this time. So, hey, is everyone excited in the back? Are you guys all excited? Oh, the carbon dioxide, yeah. So people are concerned because the carbon dioxide, the waste, the wastewater is all capped out over here because I didn't add, add any extra storage. Excess CO2 is being vented out of the ship. So the what you could do is you could add extra storage for carbon dioxide, waste, and wastewater, and then you could have a recycling system on your ship. We do not have that. We are simply venting excess CO2 and waste and wastewater out the back. There's a slight yellow trail behind us. Can't you see it? <laughs> You don't have a way to recycle waste, then you could toggle waste CO2 and water to reduce mass. That's true. I could actually just, um, I've turned off the capture of it completely. Um, in fact, I think, can you still jettison it? But yeah, I could have turned it off in the first place. Um, and then we wouldn't have to do it to have any extra mass whatsoever, but it's okay. That's fine. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do is just accelerate. Actually, let me kill that and say... Could you please time warp me to three minutes before the next maneuver node? Thank you kindly. Zroom. 
And that's the end of the time warp. So again, we're about three minutes away from the node, which is about two and three quarters minutes away from when we want to start our burn. There's the moon. Then we're gonna have to find a, a flat, a really freaking flat spot to um, to land on. <laughs> because if there's any kind of slope, that's gonna be the end of the very first moon buses mission. And potentially lives a lot of Kerbals. Best case scenario, they don't die. And we have to rescue them. Or we start a new RimWorld colony. That's true. That's an excellent point. Alright, we'll fast forward just to Scooch here. Bring down the node time. I know it's probably really hard to see on stream. It's going to be about 20 seconds to the node-ish when we'll start the burn. There we go. I'm just going to wait for all the dots to go away. Two, one, and go. Okay, I really do like that system. That's quite nice. So what we're doing here is slowing down so we don't slingshot past the moon. There we go. We've already closed the loop. We've, our apoapsis is 3 million meters away, but we are technically in lunar orbit at this point. We're just bringing it down to a more circularized size. I definitely don't want the periapsis to drop any more than this. So if I start to see it go down a lot, I'm just going to stop the rest of the burn. Because we're probably not burning exactly at the peri. And... Whoop. Good! No, that pretty much went as planned. So our periapsis is still about 25 kilometers. Our apoapsis is a little higher at 55 kilometers. Not perfectly circular, but perfectly adequate. Now, if we go and... Oh! Angelina isn't really enjoying herself here. Does she not have a good view? <gasps> she doesn't have a window seat. That's too bad. I mean, we are spinning. Look, look out the window. You can see the moon. If you look out the left side of the space bus, you will see the moon lurching semi-awkwardly. Let's do a quick little time warp and then stop. There we go. Now we're no longer spinning. Is that more comfortable? Look at that. It's the moon. Can we switch to someone else? Um, There's probably a way to switch people in here, but I'm not sure. You're happy. Are you got a window seat? Nope. There we go, window seat. Oh no, but on the wrong side. So it would be, there we are. Nope, you're on the wrong side. How do I find the person? On the... I guess I can just see if there may be, if I can see the glass. So it's not you, you. Jolbeth, there we are. <gasps> There's the moon. How awesome would that be? How awesome would that be? And especially knowing that you're gonna land <clears throat> completely safely in really just a few minutes. So we have to find out where we're going to land. And ideally what you do is you land in a big crater because they're quite flat. This territory is not too bad. <sighs> Let's see here. Now we got lots of everything. So, you know, we're not, we're not too worried about running out of whatevers. Now, at this point, according to our Delta V budget, we could ditch the other stage. But we got 150 meters per second left of Delta V in there, so we're going to use that to help us deorbit, which is going to be great. All right, we don't want to land on the dark side, because two things. One, obviously, no electric charge over there. But two, it just makes it a lot harder to land. Oh, are we currently eclipsed? Look at that. There's an eclipse from Kerbin. We actually might want to wait a, a day or two to avoid that problem. I mean, the moon's surface will still be lit, but it does actually affect power. Electric charge is currently going down. If we take a look at our solar panels, blocked by Kerbin. We cannot get power right now because Kerbin is literally in our way. Awesome. Well, that's fine. We still get light for the actual landing. You know what? Let's just go for it. How rough could a landing anywhere be? What I could do is twist the orbit a bit to put us a little bit more central in this big flat, this big crater, but that doesn't actually guarantee that it's going to be any flatter than anywhere else. Landing on Minmus is quite a lot easier because there are a lot of flat bits. Let's just, let's just, let's just do it. What could possibly go wrong? Make a hard save just in case something does. <clears throat> 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn Orbital Retrograde with this. And then drop it. So mostly by burning Orbital Retrograde, we're mostly stopping our horizontal motion. That's not entirely the whole thing, but it's most of it at this point. So we're going to go for this. Which is going to, again, drop the other side of our orbit. But at a certain point, you see this? Now our orbit's going to intersect the moon. Uh, I may as well. I'm going to use everything on this stage. And we're going to land somewhere over here. It's a little dangerous. But it's fine. It's fine! What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so that's the end of this stage here, which has done more than it needed to do, which is great. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. Then I'm just going to quick save and make sure I don't screw it up. If I hit the button now... Well, that was noisy and inappropriately so, because we don't actually have our throttle on. But these engines are all lit, which is very unrealistic. Engines don't tend to be able to be, like, lit and paused and all that. But these guys are all lit at this point. And we are going down. So, next one, I don't really care about orbital info anymore. It's really the surface info that I'm going to be looking at. This guy right over here. And we need to kill more of our horizontal speed, and that will be the next step, is just to kill all of our horizontal speed, which again is mostly involved with burning orbital retrograde, but not quite. If we do that, we'll basically be picking our landing spot. I'd like to land maybe, say, you know, between these two spots over here. So what I'm going to try to do, because we actually have quite a bit of thrust, is I'm going to try to wait until we're sort of, I don't know, maybe over here and then try to hit the thing and hope that it's going to land us somewhere around over here. Again, what could possibly go wrong? Everyone has got their seatbelts on, right? So right around here is where I'd like to land. So I'm going to go for burn now. I'm just going to wait until... Okay, there we go. So we're burning right on the horizon. We're killing all of our horizontal speed is what we're trying to do. We've got 300 meters per second left to do there. And if we kill our horizontal speed, we'll be dropping vertically. Now, this is not literally the most fuel-efficient way to do it. It's just a very easy way to do it. There we go. So somewhere around here is what I want. In fact, I shouldn't have killed quite this much, because obviously we still have some horizontal speed to kill, and I don't want to land here. So yeah, I should have left it here, and then hovered a little bit further and then killed it, but I think we'll be okay. So we're still 25 kilometers above the surface of the moon, which is great. I'm accelerating here. I want to make sure that when I kill the rest of my stuff, we're not going to go any more than this. Okay, what's our total surface speed? It's a little high. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to burn surface retrograde, and that's going to be mostly burning upwards right now because I want to I want to bring that down to something a bit more reasonable. So we don't lose control of the situation. See here, it mostly just changes that. It doesn't really affect the landing spot too much. Bring the surface speed down. Down, 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 down. Because our atmos uh, altitude is dropping. We're 8 kilometers above the surface. Okay. That I'm pretty happy with. My horizontal speed is still 40 meters per second. That has to be as close as possible to zero before we land or we're just going to skid across the surface of the moon, which would be very unpleasant. I'm going to take this opportunity to deploy my solar or my uh, landing gear, which hopefully is outside the, uh, the, the plumes here. Let's do a bit of a save. And so we're dropping. Okay, I'm going to tell it to kill all of our horizontal movement at this time, which is... Oops, I overshot it just a little bit. Quickly turn. Yeah, maybe maybe the RCS would be nice. I definitely overshot it, so we're actually going in the opposite direction a bit. Which actually isn't too bad, because it does bring us a little further away from this crater, which is nice. So, we've got three kilometers left to go. I'm going to try to keep my surface speed to about 50, which I'm comfortable with. I'll try to kill a little bit more of our horizontal here. There we go. I'm happy with that. So we're now just moving at, um, whoa, come on, turn, 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 turn. Well, yeah, this, this slow turning rate is a little bit bad. We're under two kilometers before splat time. And I really want to be almost completely vertical before I burn the engines again. 1.3 kilometers, 1.2, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 
One kilometer above the surface. Go, 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 go. All right, we're going to be fine. Lots of Delta V in this phase. Lots. Whoops. That was a little, maybe overkill. So we're barely going down now. We're 500 meters above the surface of the ground. So I want to keep our descent relatively modest. Okay, not that modest. Ideally, you do your full power burn right before you land, and it brings your speed to zero the second before you hit the ground. But that's kind of hard to plan. I'm going to make sure we're just locked straight up, as opposed to anything else. And I want to bring my landing speed. Ideally, I'd like to be like 2 meters per second on final touchdown. 130 meters left to go. Our speed is actually increasing. Um, could you respond? Thank you. Holy crap. The key inputs weren't responding. That was very unpleasant. Uh, go! What the hell? This is gonna kill me! Surface speed is increasing. Dropping. There's the shadow. Look at this. Smooth. Smooth. Stay up. Stay upright. Stay upright, you bastard. Yes! Whoa! Kill the ASS. Settle down. Okay, we're on a bit of a slope. We've done it! We done did it, you guys! We landed this monster on the moon! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Obviously staged. This is this is actually a um, a sound set on Kerbin. Yeah, I don't know why the keys weren't weren't responding. That was really scary there. Woohoo! Man, oh man. So now. Oh god, that is glorious, isn't it? Isn't that glorious? And it's actually there's there's that's Kerbin right here. You can see the ring. It's like a diamond on a ring formed by Kerbin. Can you see that? That's crazy. I wonder what they can see out their window. Oops, I didn't mean to EVO you. I mean that's what we're gonna do next. Hold on. Listen, you haven't gotten the safety briefing yet. You hold on a second. Look at these damn Kerbins. We're gonna view is what I'm looking for. Yeah, they're all sideways. Camera. And I just realized I'm going to do a little time warping here just to settle the physics down a bit. Okay. All right. Safety briefing, everyone. When you go outside, I want everyone to hold hands. Don't get lost. If you forget where we are, just follow your footsteps. Um, and look for the big vertical white thing on the horizon. Just bring ladders. We don't need ladders. Where we're going, we don't need ladders. So we're going to have um, our first of our space tourists wander out here. So Dirgy Kerman is going to EVA one at a time. So no ladders. That's okay. Because what we can do is just RCS and drop down gently. There we are. Yay! You guys, I'm on the moon! I'm on the moon, you guys. Woot! It's awesome. Move you back, and then we switch vessels, and then we grab another space tourist. Bargain. EVA with him. Let go. Turn on your boosters. There we are. Whee! Whee! This is why you don't need ladders. Gravity is very low. Although ladders would make it a little easier to grab the doors. Da -da, da -da 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 do a little dance. Hey, I'm doing the moonwalk, you guys! Shut up, bargain. You're an idiot. Uh, why don't you go ahead and just plant a flag, though? You paid extra. Bargain here played, paid for the premium pack, which comes with a, a cheap plastic flag to put on the moon. Um, worth every cent come over here so that it's not image or mirrored and do this and we're getting clipping plane problems but boom and actually we're getting some z fighting in his mouth that some of that could be part of a, one of my mods that's causing some problems there spin around Yes! Spin! It's actually quite hard to do. Oh, sometimes you reverse it accidentally. All right, jetpack's on. Let's see if we can get back, get you back inside. 
So I'm not literally going to grab every single Kerbin or Kerbal and kick and, and, and EVA. Just because it would be quite time consuming to get them back inside. Oops, turn that on. Oh, you know what? This one here, he's going to steal a moon rock. That's what he's going to do. Take surface sample. There we are. So he's stealing some moon rocks. And like the crew's going to be like, that's weird. Why is our ship slightly heavier than expected? And this guy's like sitting on a bunch of rocks. He's like three feet taller than he was when he came on. There we go. Back inside. Voila! 20 per... Oh! 20 Kerbin postcard shot hype. Do we want to? Do we want to get everyone outside? Shit, we should do that, shouldn't we? Okay. Need the group shot. You guys want me to get all the Kerbins out and take a giant screenshot. You guys are willing to wait for that? Oh! Friend zone forever, thank you very much. Uh, here's to figuring out how to drink whiskey and eat chocolate in space fun. Hey! Oh yeah, people are, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so EVA all the people. So one thing I'm wondering about is if I just ejected, would I die? I should probably play it safe. Whee! It's probably by the flag, right? Thump. All right. Let's do this. Maybe we'll just leave everyone else behind. If I don't want to, like, reload them into the ship, I'll just be like, okay, guys, bye. Um, whoop. Oh! I almost just broke the world there. So, how are we going <laughs> to... Oh, no! Everything goes crazy. So where are we going to line up? Well, we got to have the sun in front of you, right? So the flag's a little bit inverted, which is too bad, but not too bad. So if we line up somewhere like that, maybe a little further away, actually. Let's do this right. Oh my god, this is like when I was a wedding photographer. Well, I mean, I was only wedding photographer like four or five times. It was a weekend hobby. But trying to get everyone in position, that's kind of nice. I hate the, the fact that the world is clipping through, though. I think it's because of the slope. But that's okay, because we're going to take a group shot kind of further away, because there's going to be a bunch of them. I think this... How did I get people to rotate around last time? I don't remember. There you go. Look that way. Look that way. There. That's where we're going to do our group shot. So now we've got... A guidepost. Oh, I should have gotten one of the mods that like adds a bunch of variety in the uniforms. So everyone's just going to basically be doing the same thing. Uh, turn on the UI. EVA. Don't hit the solar panels. They're very delicate. I should just go... Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> okay. No, don't hit him. I was going to say something about bowling for Kerbals. But I didn't actually mean to do it. EVA. Let go. Turn that on. I think if I added Chatterer, I think it would add more sound effects for the uh, RCS on the jetpacks. Alright. And I gotta get all these bastards back inside after. We'll have, we'll have some of the passengers sneak into the driver's seat. We'll be like, wait, who's piling this? Ah, it's mostly done by computer anyway. Bowling for Kerbal's a moon massacre. Now I have to do it. Once we get these guys lined up and we get our group shot, absolutely. Now we'll put the taller Kerbal's in the back.
That's actually the flight crew in the front there now. Because there's six people in the flight crew. Maybe we'll keep the flight crew in the back and put all the passengers up front. Because they're going to want to be visible, right? I mean, they paid good money for this. They're going to want something like that. Taller Kerbals. No, man. They're not all the same size. Don't be racist. I suppose you think they all look alike, too. It's just wrong. Whee! Whee! Park you there. You're right, the group shot is going to be worth it. I mean... Okay, someone needs to do the math. If we have 22 Kerbals... And one of them is going to be the bowling ball. How do we get the triangle to work for a proper bowling ball configuration? This goes one, two. That's a total of three, and then three behind that. Like, there's got to be there's got to be a triangle math. But I guess I can just lay people out in a triangle and then add you know more width to it. But I wonder if there's like a perfect something. Six five four three two one. Does that equal twenty one? Because that'll be quite nice, actually. There we go, somewhere around there. Oh, this is gonna be so worth it, you guys. Whee. We could have them spell out a rude word from above. That would be funny too. Are you going to bring them back to Earth? Yeah, absolutely. This would have been a lot easier to plan if I wasn't. This isn't like the time we went to Duna and left <laughs> left poor Bob. I think Bob was the one we left behind. Is Bob the scientist or Bill the scientist? Anyway, we went to Duna with no plans of ever returning. And we just dropped the scientist there with the science lab and told them to have fun. Actually, it wasn't just one guy. That's right. It was like a, a set because it was a full set of scientists and I think a pilot. Kitty, hey, thank you very much. Uh, hey, Quill, here's a little KSP dollar to get some whiskey. Also, have you thought about playing KSP with the Soul System mod? I have thought about it. I haven't yet. But yeah, the, like, the, the actual realistic Solar System mod. It's kind of cool. I tested some of it, like the realistic um, Solar System. Um, it's very demanding. EVA. Go. Climb. Whoop, 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 whoop. You know what I'm going to do before I forget? I'm going to unlock this and move it out of the way. And I'm going to toggle the alarm clock and the resources. Now, I don't remember. Do the Kerbals have... Yeah, they do have food and water and oxygen and stuff in their suit. They do have a limited amount of time they can stay out here before they uh, suffocate to death. So we have to be a little bit cautious about that. But I think we're okay. Oops! Oops! No! Don't knock them! Okay, we're fine. Whew. I don't even know if Kerbal Bowling works. But I guess we're gonna find out. so so clumsily on the moon there we go EVA release RCS and go why only Kerbal helmets have shadows it might be because of some of the mods but yeah I agree the, uh, they have shadows here it's when they get to the ground the shadows the shadow bias kind of goes a little wonky Wonky is a technical programming term to say, shit don't work, yo. Go, RCS. Let go, RCS. RCS, thank you. 
I mean, luckily the moon's gravity is low enough that they don't tend to die if they just fall from, well, almost everything. I'm pretty sure you can land from orbit as a Kerbal and not die. But that's usually true in Kerbin as well, so it's not necessarily the best yardstick there. Yay. RCS. Go. They do look cool when they move fast with their boosters. But they're pretty bad at staying on their feet. And let go. And RCS. Okay. Should be... One left, does that work out? Uh, I think it do. Nice. So it was 21 like a triangle number or something. There's probably a term to represent the fact that you can make a triangle out of this. So you are gonna back up to there. And then you No. Yes. Now Bill's gotta take the pictures. Someone's gotta take the picture, right? So that's Bill. Excellent. Bill's the photographer. There you go. So he's gonna come over here. Oh, out, oh, oh, okay, no, it's too early. It's too early to go bowling. Okay, Bill's gonna take the picture. I don't remember. Um, Kerbal screen shot. It is F1, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I'm gonna verify that my screenshots are appearing in here. Uh, sort by, actually, I guess by name is fine. So presumably the last screenshot, yeah, okay, good. It is working. It would suck to come over here, all the way here, and forget to put film in the camera. Yeah, Kerbal still use a film camera. So we can go first person and jump and take the picture, take the picture, take the picture, take the picture, take the picture. Oof. That worked out. Try again. Jump. Picture. Oops. Picture, 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 picture. That looks actually pretty good. Okay. RCS up. Picture, 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 picture. Shh. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Watch Quill run out of jetpack propellant. That'll never happen. Okay, let's go bowling for Kerbals. And go, 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 go. Boom! Oh, that's pretty weak sauce. Let's try this. Let's try this with a little bit more speed. How's my propellant? Oh, we got lots. Actually, this is more like, um, uh, yeah, you know, like in pool. Uh, bam! Wee -hee -hee -hee! Oof! 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 Ah, oh, it's great. So is Bill not angry? Uh, that's why he wants to knock over one. Well, Bill's one of the the cabin crew, so he's used to being left out of the photo. It's okay. He's gonna take a selfie right now. There you are. Maybe, um... Hang on, like that, and like that. So Bill's gonna take a selfie. There you are. I guess it should be closer in, right? Oh, no! Ah! All right, that's as close as I can get without clipping into his um, his mask. There we are. Okay, so um, now there's some people, so there's one person who paid extra for the flag and someone's taking home some samples, but um, there's someone who paid, who's this? That's Bob, Valentina. Uh, oh, no, there we go, Bargain. Bargain who paid for the deluxe one with the flag. Not only that, but he gets to sit up front. 
on the way home. He, they might even let him drive a little bit, if he's good. Now, I really should have put away the solar panels. Because there's such a good chance that I'm just going to smash into one over here. But luckily, we do have the, the static ones. But yeah, I should have put away the... That's what I'm going to tell Bargain here, once he goes in. His job is going to be hit the button to put away the solar panels. Well, what if he hits the wrong button and just takes off? I mean, that would never happen, right? Yeah, let's just put away the solar panels. Have you considered only bringing Jebediah back, leaving the others down to the moon? Jebediah wants, like, revenge for all the times he's lost a life. Oh, this is the flag. I don't want that. And then everyone else is like, hey, yeah, I want to be in the top bit too. So it's going to be first person, first come, first serve. Are going to oh, oh, okay. I was a little closer to that than I thought. Whoever can get into the front bit first gets to sit up front. There we are. That's two. We got to put six up front. This, uh, the RCS flying is um, quite tricky when you're just starting out, but it becomes quite fun after that when you get used to the controls. Woohoo! Although it is still easy to overdo it and have things go terribly badly. Ah! I was going to do the space warp thing. Where you suddenly go like the physics engine just decides to like fling you straight into space as soon as you make contact with another object. You know, if someone slammed into this thing hard enough, you might actually be able to tip it over. Grab and board. I lost count. I don't know how many people are in the front. Well, we're gonna find out. At some point it'll tell me it's full. Whee! Whoa! There you go! There you go! That's what I'm talking about! And then it turns off your RCS too, so you're like, ah! Physics! Happens when you try to grab it. It's like animating, it's trying to bring you up a little bit, and then it goes into infinity. Yeah, it's not when you make contact, it's when you try to grab. There you go. Cannot board a full module. Okay. No, 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 don't do it again! Stop flinging me. Yeah, this step would definitely be easier if there was a ladder. Bring home everyone safely. Probably, maybe. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Everything is going crazy. Nope. All right, we saved it. It's fine. Physics. Vroom. Okay. Ow! 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 Grab board. Vroom. It really is satisfying to fly. Like, I want a game that's all jetpacky like this. Stay there. Good. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Flip. RCS on. RCS on. RCS on. Sometimes, like, depending on what motion is going on, sometimes the RCS will not kick in. I think you have to be mostly vertical, or there's something weird, or because they're still like ragdolling, and the RCS won't come on when they're in ragdoll mode. We're very lucky that no one died there. Nope. Don't. Why are you going down? 
because we're rubbing up against the wall. There we go. Grab that. Nope. Don't go ballistic. And I mean that literally. Grab. Excellent. Vroom. This is the hardest part of the whole game sometimes, is getting these damn Kerbals back inside their tin cans. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Nope, stop ragdolling! The RCS was on- <laughs> Did that criminal just explode? No, he broke a leg! And exploded. Oh no! <laughs> oh, did really start? We missed that subscription. Uh, oh, yes, and the thank you very much for the um, uh, the, the resub. That's <laughs> why so I said this is the hardest part. Things will just go crazy. You'll enter ragdog ragdoll mode. Nothing will respond to your keys. <laughs> Well, now we've got room for the uh, the extra space rocks. Um. <laughs>